Hello, back again in this heat. Still having my beers at room temperature. Um, we're going to Nottingham on this one. Um, the bit, I've had this before, and I had it just before Christmas. And you know when um, you go into a shop or anything, and you, you think to yourself, oh, this beer's not going to be that good, and stuff like that. Um, this one actually really, really surprised me, and I really, really enjoyed it. So I've been waiting for a long time to get hold of one and, and do a review on it. So the beer I'm doing is Castle Rock Harvest Pale at 4.3, lovely jubbly. There's the front, there's the back. And it's got three different hops in this. It's got the Centennial, Cascade and Chinook hops. I'm a big fan of the uh, Cascade hop. And I'll read the back. Harvest Pale is a beer of which we are extremely proud. The draft version has won many awards, not least in 2010, when it was awarded Champion Beer Brin at the GBBF. So that you can enjoy Harvest Pale at home, we have created a fuller strength beer, but one that retains the crisp, golden, hoppy character you expect from a true champion. And you know what, I, until I had this beer, I didn't really look at the label, and it, it, it's a good thing because you've got to make up your own mind about beers and stuff like that. But once, you know, I drank it and I loved it. I looked at the label and I thought, yeah, it's a great, great beer. So I'm looking forward to this one. I really am. So let's crack her open like we do. A little bit of CO2 there. That's a beautiful Castle Rock crown. And it's, you're getting like, um, you're getting like a broad bean like a broad bean aroma, like a sweet pea aroma, like a pea in a pod aroma coming from this. It's quite earthy as well. You know, imagine walking across a field full of full of um, rape. It's got that kind of smell with it and it's really, really nice. Really nice. So let's, let's put her in a glass and see what she's like. So it comes out very pale gold there, as you can see. And uh, just pour halfway, and I'll give her a swell. Again, a big head there, as you can see there as well. Carbonation's really just a little trickle. Nothing too, too kind of pronounced in the carbonation. And it, it's got sweeter as you pour it in the glass. It's, it's you're getting like a, a real kind of like fresh. Um, like a fresh grassy sweetness there um, and it, it really really suits this beer that's that smell I mean, these hops are working together and it, it just smells really really nice and fresh so let's top her up like you do nice head there it looks a glorious glorious pint it really does so cheers everyone light sessionable you're getting little hedgerow hints of on the on the tongue there you're getting a, a slight sourness there not much so little hint of bitterness plus you're getting like um like a vegetable kind of like um character to it you know like you know i said earlier about the pea pea in the pod and that you're getting that little hint there as well and it's very, very savoury, this beer. It's, it's, um, there's nothing real sweetness about it. And I think that's what I like about this beer. It's, it's, it's a little bit different. A little bit different to the normal beers. You get the sweetness and that. But it's more savoury. And, um, and it's light. And it feels like a summer beer. It feels like, a, you know, you can sit out in the garden, have a few of these and enjoy the rest of the evening. And that's the type of impression I get from this beer. And um, for me, it's a real joy to drink. So I'll just go in again. It's great. It really is a great beer. It's 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 so light and it's so fresh and everything. It, you know, 
give us 12 bottles of this and I'm a happy man, you know. So, boys and girls, it's a short one, but it's a good one. It really is a good one. I'll just top her up. And I'll show you the bottle once more before I uh, finish this with you. Castle Rock, Harvest Pale. It's a nice one. It really is a nice beer. Um, a beer that, you know, you can enjoy all day. A beer for all the family, apart from your kids, because they're underage. See you on me next one.